Sorry, get a little sloppy there at the end. But uh, anyway, so we'll get into another solo uh, album song, uh, Grape Digger. It's probably the most popular one. I think it was a single radio hit. I think Dave got a Grammy for it or, or something. Um, not too difficult of a song. The uh, the ring around the rosy strumming kind of gets weird right there, but we're basically going on a few pretty basic little uh, little switches here on this song. So um, the uh, the intro starts out um, just in a little A minor right here. So we're going to be on uh, the second fret on the D and the G strings. You know, I've had a few people too that are uh, more experienced guitarists kind of complain to me uh, a little bit about explaining these simple chords that, that everyone knows. I'm like, well, there's a ton of beginners that are watching these videos too, so just kind of bear with me as I go through the explanation of where you're supposed to have your fingers for an A or a D or a G. Um, because there are people, this might be, you know, the first or second lesson that they're watching. So I'm always going to explain where your finger placement is and what, what the chord is. So. So we'll be right here on the uh, D and the G, and our forefinger is going to be down here uh, hammering on to the B string on the first, fr first fret. Okay, then we're just going to keep these there. You can take your forefinger off for now, and just put your pinky up here uh, on the uh, E string third fret. go to an E shape. So we'll be on the second fret on the A and the D. And we'll have our four finger back over here. Same shape as that A minor, okay? We're just up a string. We're gonna have that four finger over here on the G, uh, G string first fret. Then we're gonna go run right back through that, quicker though. And then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna put our uh, middle finger on the E string and we'll have uh, our ring finger on the G string second fret. Both these on the second fret. Pinky is going to be over here on the uh, B string third fret. Okay, and then when we get into the verse, we're going to come up here to an F. Instead of going to that E, we're going to come up here to an F right here, which is a uh, E string first fret, and then we'll be on the A and the D on the third. Middle fingers will be here on the second fret G string. Okay, so we'll go Cyrus Jones, 1810 to 1913. It is great grandchildren. Our hundred and three is forever when you're just a little kid. So Cyrus Jones lived forever. And then when he goes back into the chorus for Grave Digger, when you dig my grave, could you make it shallow? And we're doing exactly what we did in the intro, okay? We're going back to that E, E minor chord. Then he says, so that I can feel the rain. That's going to be the verse uh, throughout uh, throughout this song. Like I said, you just you're basically going between those uh, those two different uh, chord progressions we had there. So, um, like I said, this is the only part of the song that really gets kind of tricky. Um, where he says, "Ring around the rosy." We're going to start with a D shape down here. Um, we're going to be on the third fret B string. We're going to be on the second fret G string. We'll have our forefinger over here on the first fret E string. So ring, and you're only strumming from the D, D string down. So we'll go ring around the rosy, back to that F chord we talked about earlier. We're just going to a C shape here. We're on the third fret A string. 2nd fret D string, 1st fret B string. 
Then we're going to come up here, and I'll, exp I'll explain the strumming here in a second, but just bear with me on the chords first. We're going to go to a G shape, just on the top two. Be on the third fret E string, second fret A string. And then we're going to go here, and we're going to come to this chord here, where uh, it's basically you're on a B, but you're just going to move down to the first, the uh, third, and the third on the uh, A, D, and G strings, okay? Okay, so the strumming on this. So it's, you're basically strumming along with ringing around the rosy. And then you go. It's just. Down up, down up. Oh, sorry. Down up, down up. Just, that's all you're doing so and then when he says we all fall down you're on a, a G right here so it's just like that G that you're playing right there we're putting our pinky down here on the high E we all fall down and we're coming back to that uh, A minor right there um, and then for the ending of the song Sorry, I'm trying to remember. Listen to that at the very end. I'm making a. I wish I had my notes notes in front of me on this song. Um, he's just going um, when he says "grave digger." You know, he keeps repeating that uh, there at the very end. Listen to it. It's uh, you're going from here. To, uh, to there again, just like that verse. You're coming, you're walking down a little faster. I'm pretty sure you're going here and then to the E, uh, and then to the E minor, so. I think, um, somebody put in the comments there, or I might throw it in, in the comments um, once I go back and look, to my, look at my notes, sorry. Um, you got the basic bulk of the song. Those chords there at the end are right. I'm just trying to remember the strumming. I've got different things, different songs in my head right now that I can't, I can't remember it exactly. So anyways, hopefully this was really helpful for you guys, especially some of you beginners that are looking for some uh, easier songs. I uh, pulled this one out and don't drink the water today. So hopefully that helps you out on, on some of the more simple songs. Working on songs from Come Tomorrow right now that I haven't already posted. Um, so those are a work in progress. I'll have those up sometime soon. So uh, anyways, uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.